We're now going to look at the common bass amplifier. This is a very interesting amplifier because it has a very low input impedance and has a high voltage gain. As a result, it's uh, widely used in RF front ends. So your radio receiver has uh, something very much like this circuit in it in all likelihood. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make uh, draw this as an equivalent AC circuit. To do that, of course, the uh, capacitors become shorted. And of course, then the supply voltage also goes to zero. So now we're going to redraw the circuit. We have a source of input, the in, the in, and we have a resistor RE in parallel with the input. And we come to the transistor. The base goes directly to, to ground. We can see that because this uh, capacitor brings the base directly to ground as it shorts out. This resistor R2 disappears. And this resistor R1 also disappears because the supply goes to zero. This end goes to zero, so it's completely shorted out. And the only resistor we're left with in that network is RC. And of course, outside of the circuit, we have RL, the load resistance. Now, as far as the collector is concerned, the collector sees both of these as an AC uh, source or AC load. And so we can combine these into a single resistor and call it R subscript small c. And what this really is, is a parallel combination of RC and RL. Now, at this point, it's important to remember that um, when we're looking for the output impedance of the circuit, that's looking this way, Z out, that we don't include RL because it is external to the circuit. It's on the other side of the exiting capacitor here, the coupling capacitor. And then when we want to look at Z in, Z in is at this point, and we can uh, take note of the various currents that are in the circuit. For example, uh, the emitter current, I, E. This current over here is I, C. And these currents are uh, very similar. In fact, oftentimes we're going to say that they're identical. And then besides this, we have a little AC resistance in here, RE prime. So now, let's start by looking at the voltage gain. The voltage gain, we discover that Vn is equal to IE times RE prime. So the IE current there through this resistance going to ground. So that's the entire voltage in. Voltage out is equal to IC, the collector current, times the impedance that it sees in its path, which is little RC. And so knowing voltage in, voltage out, we can find the voltage gain is equal to V out, IC, RC, divided by IE, RE prime. At this point, we note that since IE is approximately equal to IC, we can rewrite the voltage gain as approximately equal to RC divided by RE prime. So what this tells us is that the gain is approximately equal to the parallel combination of this pair of resistors divided by RE prime. So this is uh, quite high, actually. This will be quite a high number because RE prime is going to be a matter of ohms. This might be in a neighborhood of uh, kilo ohms. Now we want to calculate the current gain. The current gain, the uh, output current, I out, is simply equal to the collector current times, and in this case we want to find the current in RL, that's the actual output current, I out. And we notice that there is a current dividing action here, 
And so we apply the current dividing rule, which says that this current is equal to the total current in the network, IC, times the total impedance that the current sees, which is RC, little RC, divided by the branch of interest, which is RL. So there is the current out. Now the input current, I in, is equal to I e. Now the reason we can say it's I e and not uh, the current over here is because R e, this large R e over here, is much, much greater than R e prime, this resistor over here. So the net result is this virtually disappears from the analysis. And so we're left with IE. Therefore, the current gain is equal to the output, IC times R, little r, little c, divided by RL, all divided by IE. And because IC is roughly equal to IE, this reduces very nicely to the current gain is approximately equal to little r, little c, divided by RL. Now we notice from this expression right off the bat that the parallel combination will be a smaller number than the load resistor. So this gain, the current gain, will always be less than 1. So high voltage gain, but uh, a very low current gain. The next thing that we'd like to look at is Zn. The input impedance looking in the circuit is uh, pretty evidently Re in parallel with Re prime. But we've already pointed out that Re is much, much greater than Re prime. So really, Zn is approximately equal to Re prime. So this is very low. And we can also take a look at Z out, the output impedance. And again, we're looking from here. And as we can see, the only thing that we see is RC in parallel with whatever is in the collector. Well, it turns out that all we're going to get is RC. And the reason is because the collector is a current source, i.e. very high impedance. So the net result is that the output is simply equal to the resistor in the collector path. So this circuit is used typically in applications. We have a low input impedance. Perhaps it's an antenna. Perhaps it's a coaxial cable. We're looking at things like 50 ohms, 75 ohms, 100 ohms, few hundred ohms. And we attach it to the front end here, impedance match it, of course. And then we get a very high, comparatively high uh, signal coming out. So this is typically used uh, in the front end of your radio or coax uh, receivers.